Welcome, everyone. Today, we're delving into some exciting experiments involving low RA training using stable diffusion. I've prepared a range of experiments to explore how different training parameters impact the outcome. Are you ready to dive into the world of stable diffusion and lore training? In this video, we'll be exploring the first part of our lore training experiment using stable diffusion. If you're someone who wants to learn more about stable diffusion and lore training, then you're in the right place. We'll be sharing some exciting insights and techniques that will help you take your skills to the next level. So grab your notepads and get ready to learn, because this is going to be an educational journey you won't want to miss. So, let's dive right into part one. Our first experiment features a dataset of a fake virtual woman. The dataset is generated using stable diffusion. Here we have 20 images. 12 close-up photos. 5 half-body shot. And 3 full-body shot. We will use that 20 images for training. There are several experiments. Today we will talk about part 1. Using different training based model. Later we will have different experiments. I will show them in later videos. In part 1, we use different base models for training. We will use four different base models to testing. First one is the realistic vision. The second one is the one comes with stable diffusion web UI, the version 1.5 pruned in my only model. The third one is dreamlike photo real model. The last one is aval and true vision model. Total we will run four different pieces of training. These are the training parameters. We have image repeats as 50, which means for the 20 images in the data set, we will repeat them 50 times in one epoch. The batch size is 2. Total epochs we will train is 10. The learning rate is 0 0.1. The unit learning rate is 0.1. The text encoder learning rate is 5.0e-5. Network dim is 8. Network alpha is 1. The image resolution we use is 512 times 512. For version 1, the training base model is realistic vision. Here we can see that we have trained 10 epochs. Each row is the image generated by the low array model after each epoch. Each column is the weight applied to that low array model. This is the XYZ plot. We can see that at the beginning, the woman in the photo does not like the target in the first epoch with a weight of 0 0.1. However, if we increase the weight even after one epoch, the woman already looks like our target. If we scroll down, they started to look more alike the target, but the photo looks like it is saturated. The effect is so strong. After 10 epochs at weight 1.0, the woman looks so saturated and the contrast is very high. When we use the low RA model, we usually choose to set the weight to 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. Those widths give more realistic results. In this training, I think after epoch 9 at weight 0 0.4, the woman looks very good. Okay, here we can see that the effects on the images with higher weight look very strong and very saturated. But they are all still normal. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. So go ahead and hit that button. For version 2, the training base model is version 1.5 per into my only model. So that is the result with 10 epochs and 10 different weights. Let us see the XYZ plot. The first epoch is normal. But after the second epoch at weight 1.0, the model started to overfit. As epochs keep going, the overfit becomes worse. If we use the low RA model downloaded from the internet, we can always see the problem if using weight 1.0. Therefore, we will usually choose a weight between 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. If you train the model yourself, you can choose which epoch you like. So we know that on the right with higher weights, the images will start to overfit and look like it is broken. 
because we are using realistic vision as a checkpoint when doing the texture image. We can see that the results will be so different if we use the different base models in training. For version 3, the training base model is Dream like Photoreal model. The texture image checkpoint uses realistic vision. When using Dream like Photoreal as the base model for training, the result is good. But they look a bit like cartoon styles to me. Not realistic enough. Maybe it's because of the photoreal model. But there is no overfitting. The images still look very good at a weight of 1.0. However, the result does not look like the target. I think the training steps are not long enough. If we train more epochs, the results may be better. For this base model, we know that on the right with higher weights, the images still look good. Depends on the base model if the model can match the texture image checkpoint. In that case, Dream like photo real model matched a realistic vision. The results will still look good. For version 4, the training base model is Aval and True Vision model. The texture image checkpoint uses realistic vision. This is results. It looks like between version 2 and version 3. It looks more like the target than version 3. But it still has some overfit a weight of 1.0. So the results are similar to version 1. In that case, Avon True Vision model seems like matching quite well with the realistic vision. The results is looking normal. We just saw all models with different epochs and weights. Now we will see some results from a particular model. We will use the model at epoch 9 and weight 0 0.4. We will use a realistic vision as a text to image check print. So what is it? Each column is an image using a different version. Each row is an image using a different seed. The first column is using realistic vision as the base training model. The results in the first column are good, it's realistic. The second column uses using 1.5 per end only model as the base training model. The results in the second column do not look like the target. The third column uses dream like photo real as the base training model. The results in the third column are okay, but it's not super realistic, a bit cartoonish. The last one is using Aval and True Vision as the base training model. The results in the last column are similar to the first column. Maybe the realistic vision and the Aval and True Vision are similar, so they give similar results. We will now try to see the results using different checkpoints. We will use the 1.5 per my only model as a text to image checkpoint this time. Same here. Each row is an image using a different seed. Each column is an image using a different version. We can see that the trained low array cannot always generate our targets. The results in the first column are not good, do not look like the target. The results in the second column are not good either, do not look like the target. The results in the third column are not good, do not look like the target. The results in the last column are not good, do not look like the target. We can see that the low array effect is not shown in the images. We will now try to see the results using Dreamlike Photo Rule as the text to image checkpoint. All images are having strong contrast, the effect of the low array is so strong. The images do not like the target. The results are not that good. Okay, the last one. We will now try to see the results using Aval and True Vision as the text to image checkpoint. I believe that the base model Aval and True Vision is similar to the realistic vision, so they give similar results. And the results look normal and good. 
the results in the first column are almost the same as in version 1. After this experiment, we can see that the trained low array model may not have desired results if we use some other checkpoints to do the texture image. The results depend on the training base model and the checkpoint you choose. In conclusion, if you know which checkpoint you will use to do the text to image, you better use that checkpoint as the base model for training. This is what I've learned from this experiment. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about stable diffusion and low RA training, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I will put up the other experiments soon. You can also find all the models and images in my Patreon account. The link can be found in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video.